good morning and welcome to today's video. It's a vlog. It's a homey vlog because all we ever are are at home. <laughs> My name is Anna. Give this video a, a thumbs up and I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. So if you are new here and um, you're not from the UK, uh, we are currently in um, like if I think it's called like a full lockdown so the children are back home and we are homeschooling them so I have a little boy who's eight who's in year three and a little girl who's ten who's in year five so we're currently homeschooling both of the children what I will say is this time around um, from my perspective would love to hear your perspective I'm not sure what your schools are like it's um, running a little bit smoother so twice a day once in the morning and once after lunch there's like a half hour kind of like a form time or like a chat where they explain the activities ethan's i will say is a little bit more um like a, a mini lesson where the errands is more like this is what you're going to do today then they can have a little chat with their friends um it, ethan's they don't do chat with the friends because the year three just put all <laughs> things in the chat like I, I eat sweets or da -da -da -da. so the teacher's like no chat so that's what's going on here they usually do maths then they have a little break then they do english then they have their lunch then they do re science pe or like a geography or something in the afternoon so i will show you our little setup i think um erin still finish erin starts half hour later because the two because obviously a lot of times people have siblings it's not possible really to have the siblings all do the lessons at the same time because we're lucky um ethan's using um steven's like work a laptop but some people only have one laptop so so every starts half an hour later so she's just finishing off ethan's finished his maths bit so i'll show you the layout of what we're going to be finished as high five you prefer it don't you yeah. she says she prefers being at home i need to tell the people that erin and i now share socks you got my socks on again today mm -hmm. that is it i've got a size six feet she's got a size four feet so we now share socks and headbands and i feel that this is just my favorite thing ever and you you you're so overwhelmed with love for me look at that face <laughs> right i'll show you the setup here is where we do the main homeschooling. Well, Ethan does. So down here we have, we have generally whatever parent is sat here working, because we have one of us sat here obviously. And Ethan has his computer here and it has his little um, Microsoft Teams thing on it. Uh, we have a set of headphones in case one is watching a video and the other one needs quiet or one wants to hear what their teams are saying or whatever. Each kid has got a little book that I labelled. You might have seen this on Insta stories because some of the work they're doing, they have to do writing and then you take a photo and send it in. Over here, I've just got this little basket which is going to go on top of the fridge at the weekend. And in it's just got, um, it's got his beaver stuff. We've got a dictionary in there. And just at the end of the day, we can just shove stuff in there. So it's... Because you know it's like, this is like Ethan's workspace, mine and Stephen's workspace, dinner, <laughs> lunch, everything. Um, I've got a folder, even though we are um, sending the work over to the teachers to mark and they mark it pretty much straight away, I'm just keeping the work in a folder. I don't know why. I don't know why I need to do that, but I feel like that's what I want to do. So at the end of every day, we um, photo the work and then it gets sent over to the teachers who mark it and send it back and then in here we're actually just looking at getting Erin a little um she's doing timetables rock what they're called a folding table so this is where Erin's doing her work I'm just going to turn this off pause this for two minutes so Erin does her work over here um she's got like a pencil case oh yeah I'll show you the tub she's got pencil case post-its um she's doing timetable rocks um, each morning I put a diffuser on and have like a Disney smell. Today we've got Main Street Bakery. And also on the telly, um, you can have, um, if you type it, oh, was it a good score? You're like, oh, you can type in um, 
Disney ambience music. So this is just like the music of Magic Kingdom. There's Disneyland Paris music, there's Christmas music, and it's just pretty pictures. We just have that in the background. What did you get? Um, 36. I don't know what that means. Is it good? Uh, yeah. Ah, well done. So yeah, we're just looking at getting a fold up table maybe here that Erin can sit on because um, full, dis full disclosure, the children just can't sit at the same table together. <laughs> I mean, there's four more spots you could sit at, but they just ran. So we, we, we just, we have to split them up, unfortunately. Um, and this, as you know, I've had this for a while. And it's got like felt, pencil crayons, glue, scissors, rulers, pens, everything that you need. We're getting through quite a lot of um, pencils at the moment and rubbers. And then upstairs I have a drawer with all like crafts. And, and if I remember, I'll show you that at some point. Now I'm so excited. The kids are on a half hour break, which gives me time to talk to you about plants. So I went onto my Instagram and said, send me your plant questions. Thousands of you sent me plant questions and I've written down two, four, six, eight of the most popular ones that I just got like time and time and time again. And we're gonna do how to become a plant mom in 2021, it rhymes. What I am gonna say is this, I am not a plant expert. I'm not a gardener, I'm not a, I'm not, I don't know what, what's the plant expert? What's somebody who's called, who's good with plants called? Botanist. A botanist. I'm not a botanist. I'm just a woman who loves a plant. Um, so I know that some of you out there might know more than me. So you are, feel free, if somebody has a question in the comments, feel free to jump in and say, do you know what? Um, I think dooby dooby do. Um, so I'm gonna go through the kind of real basics. I have plants in pretty much, I have plants in every room except for our upstairs bathroom because there's no light in there and in there, my friends, I have a fake plant. <laughs> so I do have lots of plants. Um, I've still got them in the kitchen. Yeah, every room has got plants, everyone's got plants. So I'm gonna talk you through some bits and pieces. So if you're down for that, if you're thinking in 2021 you wanna become a plant mom, this, this is the video for you. So I'm gonna set you on a tripod and do a little chat and can you see i'm so excited because guys there's nothing else to do we can't go anywhere we can't do anything we can't see anybody all the shops are closed um apart from essential shops which is fine i understand it there's nothing to do so i'm going to talk to you about plants insert um a theme tune emma loves plants she loves plants here she's talking about her plants 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 plant chat Okay, so let's go through some of the questions. Um, I, first of all, people are saying things like, where is the best place to get plants? Now, obviously, we're in a pandemic. So, you're not gonna be going around pootling buying plants. But after the pandemic, um, or maybe if you have to go to a supermarket, some of my favorite places to get plants Oh, uh, B and Q has some great plants. I got my big giant monstera from B and Q. Also, I got another giant plant from Asda, um, which I will show you later. I like a tenner, which is really good. Uh, so supermarkets do great plants. One place I don't really like getting plants from, and I've had plants from there, and they've sadly passed away, is IKEA. I I'm not good with IKEA plants. They do not last for me, I'm afraid. Um, I've also struggled with um, next to plants, and some of them haven't lasted hugely long. But was it saying we do great plants? But um, of course, if you are desperate for a plant and you can't leave the house, there is a plant like website called Bloombox which can send you plants. And I will say they are a little bit more expensive than um, supermarket plants, uh, but they do have lots of really nice. And I have been eyeing up a couple. So yeah, balloon box if you want to get plants online. I actually got a plant, I'll show you, um, from, let's have a look. Oh. I randomly um, got a plant pot. I bought like a really fancy plant pot from Etsy. 
see. And it came with a plant in the post and it was all like smashed. But this plant is, it's a beautiful one. So yeah, you can, I think you might be able to find some on Etsy. Um, I can't guarantee how nice they will, but this is a beautiful plant. So yeah. Uh, also people are saying, where do I get my plant pots from? Um, plant pots, great ones are garden centres. Uh, we have a garden centres in the Midlands called Webs, which is brilliant. Webs of Witchbold, and there's one in Haggett, and I get lots of really nice baskets from there. But also these, oh, these baskets, Dunelm, they did like a pack of three. So you can get nice wicker baskets from Dunelm. You just need to check though, my lovely friends. Sometimes those wicker, ba wicker baskets, um, don't have plastic in. She's not good if you're trying to water a plant. So check, look, Oliver Bonus have loads of plant, like uh, material plant pots, but without the plastic in, so they're a little bit annoying. Uh, also, fake plants, uh, Marks and Spencers do some great fake plants. Um, Ikea do some fake plants, but I don't think they're good up close, but they're good if they're like on, like on top of something, you can't really tell. Okay, right. Let's talk a little bit about washing them. And I'm going to change position because we don't want to see me here all the time. Hey, so right, I'm back. You, um, the kind of stuff, we're talking about watering the plants now. And the things I have in my house to water the plants. I have a watering can. I have one from Ikea, which I don't know, was maybe a pound. I also bought this one, which is very fancy. And, um, I don't know how much that was, but I think this one's probably better. So in my hands I have my watering cans and I also have a um, a hand sprayer for a bit of misting. Oh god, I didn't think there was going to be any water in there for misting. And also I have some baby bell houseplant food. So that's probably all you need alongside your plants. I wear this portion is going to sound a little bit eccentric um i've always with my plants so I, I water them i tend to water them once a week um maybe a little bit less in um winter but with my plants i, I walk i kind of feel the need to water them i know it sounds weird like i might touch them and see if they're dry or i just look at them and i just i, it, I know i know so for, for normal people once a week for me, I like to look, I like to touch, I like to feel, have a little look at the mud. Oh, is it too dry? Is it too wet? That's what I like to do. So that's that's how I keep my plants alive. Um, does that sound a little bit like they're humans? Yes, but that's how it is. So for example, this plant over here in the corner, can you see? I've got that plant which has got to, which I've managed to keep alive for, 20 years that plant I think was from I feel like it's Marks and Spencer's 20 years ago and it's been in all my houses it's seen various boyfriends and it's I've kept it alive for 20 years on the basis that sometimes I look at it and go she's a bit wet she's too dry and that's how I work it but um, usually I'd say once a week now there are some plants that do not need watering once a week and also loads of people were asking the best plant to have in your house that is really hard to kill and I will say oh what's it called oh what's the I will type up on the screen what this is um I can't work out the name these really difficult to kill so these are great plants to have you don't have to water these every week you water them sparingly and it's great she's even grown a few little new ones so they're really great really 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 good plants you can get them big this one was 20 quid but obviously you can get them smaller i've got some small ones they don't require vast amounts of light so um these are brilliant plants to have uh, i also had a few questions about hanging down plants this one here was from sainsbury's and she is again i'll write the name on the screen so you know in the comments below what the plants are um i don't know the names of the plants apart from like if i call them human names as I said, not a botanist. 
this is a great one and also this is a great one to propagate from which is what i'm going to do um after i've taught you so i'm going to do some propagating for you so she's great i'm hoping she'll eventually like go down like that um she's a great hanging down one i've also got some ivy over here which i will just get for you to look at uh over here so here is some ivy um i love i love the hanging down plants i will say she's a bit tricky um she's surviving at the moment but she does get quite dry um but i love my my ideal house would be just to have loads of plants just flowing down all of my shelves so these are great um hat like plants to have hanging down uh, I'm going to show you um, some of the bigger plants because people are like, what's your favourite plant? And I've got, well, I need to talk to you about one. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a plant called Stevie Nicks. I bought Stevie Nicks. She was a great plant. I loved her. She was impossible for me to look after. I would water her too much. I wouldn't water her enough. She was in too much light, then she wasn't in enough light. Some of the rooms are too cold, some of the rooms are hot. She got to this house, she hated it. Guys, she's dead. I'm sorry. My favourite plant passed away. At, at the weekend, I gave her one last chance, and I was like, Stevie, we can do this together. RIP oh, Stevie, she's gone. Let's take a moment. So I'll show you my new favourite plant. This is my current favourite plant. She's a Monstera. Um, she's beautiful, she's wild, <laughs> she's roaming free. I do need to get like a stick thing in the middle so the plant can go up it, um, but she's a beauty and she was from um, either B&Q or home base or somewhere, but I love her. Also, this plant was £10 from Asda. Oh my God, it's so amazing. And I did have a few questions about um, why I, I bath a couple of my plants and these, the big plants that I bath like once a fortnight, put them in the bath so it can soak all the water up from the bottom and then also I get my mister and I go around and miss them the kids are just whispering because I want to play some computer games and you can talk guys uh, these <laughs> I said you can talk guys and you're like ah! it's alright give me two seconds and I'll go into another room here's another really great plant that is very hard to kill I've had this a long time as well here's another one of those um, big ones I said that my friend up there propagated for me and she gave me like such a tiny little plant and I'm hoping it just spills. Right, I'm gonna go so the kids can play. The children are now fighting about Among Us. Um, so I've covered watering. Um, yes, I do bathe the big plants. I've covered the nicest place to get them, hard to kill plants, plants for hanging down shelves. I will leave a list in the description of my plants. Um, kind of recommendations that you can look at with your eyes. I think that is for the best to be honest um, I'm so sorry. I got called away with some sort of homeschool Thing and I can't remember what I was talking about. It was plants wasn't it? So should we talk about propagating? So I've got a lot of questions about this so Propagating now propagating is where you take a little cutting from one of the plants that you've already got and then you grow some roots and then you can put it in some soil and then you can have your a, a brand new plant so i have been propagating this little baby since the old house and if we have a look at the roots the rootage we have got a lot of roots there um as I've not been going anywhere, we've not got any soil around. The soil that came from the old house, it didn't make it here. So I need to get some soil and eventually I will put that in a nice new pot and hopefully it will grow me another one of these plants. Yay, one of my faves, another one of these plants. So propagating. You don't really need anything fancy. You can just like, I've just used a jam jar glass. You could um, just use a normal glass, anything really. And you don't need any soil, you don't need any mud, you just need water. And what you do is, with the plant, there are, I'll leave a, a video that I use below, which is probably better. Um, with this plant, I'm gonna propagate some today, actually. You cut it, 
just below the little nub here. So just below this little nub here, you give it a little snip and then you put it in some water. And then every few days, change the water and just put clean water in. I literally just, um, with this one, I just tip the water out. I don't like pull the plant, just tip the water out and then fill it with new water. And it, it takes a long time. That's take, that's about three months worth. But slowly but surely, but you'll see like a little white root and it'll get bigger and then it'll get bigger. Um, so I have got this from Amazon, which I got from my mom. I got it more really because I just think it looks really cute. So this is from Amazon, I'll link this below as well. And I today um, am now gonna put some plants in here to propagate them and then eventually I'll have three new plants. My friend Jocelyn does a lot of propagating. She's actually got like a, a little um, greenhouse in her garden where she has loads and then she gives them as presents. So I just think it's really cute. I think it's really nice to get something that somebody else has grown for you. So I'm hoping to propagate some stuff for the kids' bedrooms. So today um, I will do a cutting from that. I'm also gonna do a try. I've never tried a cutting from this one as well and i would love you to leave in the comments if you are a plant person if you know how to propagate a bigger plant i have bought a book but i would love to hear your tips so i'm gonna go and do that now and then i will come back and show you and i just do think it's just it's a bit science it's a bit like aesthetically pleasing it's a bit sciencey isn't it so yeah love it here we go if you see a little bit can you see you've got like little nibbly, nibbly bits there so this is going to be perfect to propagate and actually this looks like this is like a little new leaf unfurling so that will definitely go in one um let me get one off this one as well hey i finished it so i will keep you updated in um future vlogs there's going to be more vlogs rather than like sitting down halls and stuff because you know we can't really go anywhere <laughs> so let me know what you want me to do in the comments um i have ordered a few bits and pieces online so maybe i might do like an online haul there we go <gasps> So these are all my dangling down ones. Um, so we'll keep you posted. I mean, it will take ages. <laughs> In about two months, I'll be like, look, something's appeared. But yeah, so every um, couple of days, I will just empty that with water. Oh my God, I love it. It just looks like a, um, like a scientific experiment. Um, what are the things? Things that I don't know and could do with your help in the comments. I do get the little black flies ever so often and I hate it and it makes me fume. So let me know about that. My friend Justin says if you put a bit of washing liquid and you can spray them, but I don't know. So let me know in the comments about that. I would love to know how you propagate larger plants. Anything to do with that. Um, if I get any brown blitz on my plants, I just kind of peel them off and then put them in the bin. If your plants are going brown towards the end, then that definitely means there's some sort of water issue where you're either overwatered, which is what I think I did with Stevie Nicks. I think I overwatered her. Uh, and I think I got a bit of rotten roots. So, um, and there's definitely a couple of pot plants that need repotting, I think. But again, I need to wait until we can get out and about and I can get stuff. They're all managing fine. So yeah, let me know. <sighs> let me know um, any advice or anything in the comments. I really love to hear it. As I say, I'm not an expert. I'm just, it's just a hobby. And I'm finding in like these times where everything's a bit up in the air and like it's a bit anxious and a bit much that pottering around and doing stuff with plants just to help me feel a bit more calm um, and just keeps me a bit more, I don't know, just, it's like a hobby in it, I suppose. Right, okay, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna show you something else upstairs, actually. Yay, I've put it over here in the window. Um, the best thing to do with plants is if they become in, come with instructions, some say put in direct light and some like don't put in direct and like just do what it says on the instructions. Um, because I've killed many a plant by not doing that, but yeah. Also for plants in not in, that don't need like a lot of sun, this is a great one, which again, I've had for 20 years, no, maybe 18 years perhaps. Um, again, I'll leave that in the description box. I don't know the names of anything, so I'll research all these for you. But she's actually 
growing much more stuff here um so yeah she's doing brilliant really really good so that's excellent news i've come up to the office now to um do a little bit of work uh and um you might remember from that kind of video i did not last video the video before i was talking about house plans i've made a bit of a start a temporary start on top top um our office our upstairs room so i'll show you what i've done so far as i say it's temporary but it just makes it like a nicer worker environment if um Stephen needs to work up here, or if I need to work up here, if one of the kids needs to work up here. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So, I've just added a couple of cushions from next to the couch. You will see there's clear space, which unfortunately shows off the carpet, but it's fine. And all I've done is I've just hung some pictures, added these, um, these decals, which are from Etsy, which I love. I found them, they've, they're left over from Erin's room. So I found them and we've just got, put some pictures up, I've sorted the folders out, the desks here, and it's just a bit neater. I mean, it's not going to be an interior magazine, but do you know what? It's, it's good enough for now. So what I hope to eventually have is um, maybe some bigger, I would love to get fitted shelves there, but after we've got the ones downstairs, which are beautiful, um, I didn't realise how expensive fitted shelves would be so that actually would be quite a lot of money so I'd love some sort of solution for there um, at the moment I've got my mugs here these house like um, towels and sheets this is Erin and Ethan's homeschool drawers like I told you about downstairs we've got Ethan and Erin so in this we have um, projects that they can do if they've got spare time but actually the work is sent uh, the school is sending over like a decent amount of work this time there's Erin's and then we have arts and crafts and paper and card. Um, but yeah, the, the school are doing a great job of keeping them occupied, but you never know when things can change. So we're keeping that for the moment. Here are the drawers that you would have seen in the Amazon video. Whoops, that's my charger gone. So this is like work stuff and that's all like receipts, finance, boring stuff. But I'm really happy with the space. Stephen actually said, oh my gosh, it's so nice to come and work somewhere and just be like upstairs and nice and quiet because obviously if we have to take calls or something, so yeah. I do hope that lots of you are bearing up. I know this um, for lots of places in the world is like a really tough time. Um, obviously I'm speaking from the perspective of being in England, but I know like Wales and Scotland are also having tough lockdowns um let me know what's going on in your part of the world it is it is quite a stressful time we were kind of promised that the children would never have to be at home again and sadly they are and not from the perspective that i don't want to teach them from the perspective that i, I want them to be with their friends um i'm really fortunate that despite the fact that they can't sit on the same table together which is very annoying they, you know, Erin is very self-motivated. She gets on, she does her work. Ethan definitely needs a bit of extra help because he's littler. Um, but I can imagine, you know, that it is must be hard for some of you at home, especially I've got friends that have got four children. Um, so I am sending you lots of love. Uh, I'm trying to keep it positive and upbeat on here and on my social media to kind of maintain some sort of positive space. Um, you know, I know lots has been going on all over the world that has been terrible, but I just want to kind of keep an upbeat, relaxing space because that's what I like to watch on YouTube. I like to watch videos of large fam. You know, I live a large family. I love large families and tiny houses. Um, let's somebody make something that's a large family in a tiny house, and I'd be overwhelmed. I just like to keep it like relaxed, but I am sending you. Lots and lots of love out there. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. So, to finish, I was aware that my plant chat was very rambled, but it is a bit more difficult with the kiddos around um, and being pulled in 50 million directions. So, to, to like round it all up, I will leave below in the comments, or I mean in the description box, the plants that I like and are easy to use. I water my plants once a week or once every kind of 10 days 
in the winter i do get my fingers in the soil to check if it needs a good water if i'm walking past a plant and it's looking a bit dry i have a little feel i'm like it needs watering kind of they're always on my periphery or i could be watching the telly and i'm like she needs a water uh i have plants in every room i would definitely advise you to check what it says on the label when it comes to the plant with regards to not putting it direct sunlight um how often you should water it that kind of thing i do baby bio which is like a fertilizer probably once a month maybe yep yeah, i'd say probably once a month and i also as well as watering my plants i also mist the leaves which not only is nice and healthy for them but also it just makes them look nice and if you've got a big flipping plant they get quite dusty so the the mist makes everything look nice and clean and i think that's about it supermarkets are great for buying plants from so are garden centers i personally would avoid ikea plants because they just don't seem to last very long i'm not great at keeping succulents alive not great at keeping succulents alive which is supposed to be like the plants that you you can't kill well I mean, I have done several times. Succulents and cactuses are not my forte. They really aren't. Um, other other plants are, I think, probably because I probably overwater succulents and cactuses, to be honest. So I hope that's all made sense. Definitely leave in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see from me. You're probably going to see more vlog style videos or like home organisation or just homey ones until. Um, we can get out and about again and i love you lots i'm sending you strength i'm sending you love i'm sending you plant mom vibes definitely tag me on your insta stories if you buy any plants or you've got any plants or anything like that i'd love to see it um if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up i would love you to subscribe so high five if you do and i'll see you very soon bye guys